Cue the music. It's me, Gary, and Nick. Welcome to Sweet Christmas in June. Nick is back from Heroes Con. Uh, he he brought me a book, a sketch for my sketchbook, which I'll show you in a little while. Which the Golden Child got for him. Oh yeah, Eric, the Golden Child uh, uh, is the guy that uh, was in charge of my sketchbook. So many thanks to him. Let's get right to this, shall we? Um, uh, Alter Ego Magazine with Deathlock on the cover. I love Deathlock. Everything's coming up Gary today. It is. I, I was listening to my uh, iPod on the way over, and it was the I just put it on genre, metal. So I got like Motorhead and Tool and Motley Crue and Megadeth. Nice. And lots of Faster Pussycat, which is a personal favorite of mine. I don't know if I would consider them metal. Yeah. But I heard like three Faster Pussycat songs on my 40-minute drive to work. I haven't stopped listening to my garbage CD since it came garbage out. Garbage is also good. Anyway, uh, Harley Quinn, Star Wars. Uh yeah. Oh, see? You shouldn't have messed with it. Uh, Action Comics. Rebirth. More of the rebirth happening. Oh, yeah. Action Man. He's action. He's, he's a man. That's right. Look at him. And he's a figure. Yeah. Figures, don't it? Dennis's pick of the week, Adventures of Supergirl. My pick of the week. Every book this week that I got is, like, my favorite thing ever. Aloha Hawaiian Dick. My favorite thing ever. Dick? I mean... Hawaiian Dick, specifically. Yeah. Somebody get Branscombe Richmond on the phone. Oh. <laughs> anyway. America? America. America. Cyborg. Deadpool versus Gambit. Oh. It's the pretty versus the ugly. Yeah. Death Force... Hello, 1993. Yeah. <laughs> Death's Dark Angel. Hello, 1993. What is going on this week? Um, death Stroke. <laughs> death Blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a deathly kind of day. Uh, we're out of one of the rebirth titles. What a surprise. Uh, Lucas Stand from Boom, one of six. Mad Balls, the newest. Uh, uh, return uh, thing from the 90s after Garbage Pail Kids and yeah. My Little Pony and all the other stuff that's come back. Now I'm mad. Like the thing in your hand now? Power Rangers. <laughs> I had to look to see what I had in my hand. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you never know what made kids, is what I'm trying to say. The Mighty Thor. Mm. Did I see that Brian Cranston joined the Power Rangers movie? It's going to be Zordon. I don't know what to say about that. You didn't see all the memes of the guy, what's his name from, uh, him as, uh, from Breaking Bad and the no, Zordon I, tube? I haven't seen any of those yet. Rumble? Get ready. It's a rumble, a rumble in the jungle. How was Heroes Con, Nick? It was good. I liked it. Did you see your Francesco Francavilla? I did. Did you worship at the altar of Francesco Francavilla? I did. I purchased a, a Night of the Living Dead poster off him. That's good. And you also brought me back a condom from the comic book Beauty, J Jeremy Hahn and uh, Jason Hurley. Is mm -hmm. that? Yes. Uh, that's a good book. Scarlet Witch. The blue. The blue was the Heroes Con exclusive color. Promotional condom, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you get them. Yeah. That's going to be putting a rotten ring in my wallet. <laughs> She-Wolf. <laughs> that way people think, hey. I'm the wow wolf. <laughs> Danzig, come on, Snowfall. I'm feeling real metal today. And look. Mm-hmm. Now you're talking. Star Wars. Force Awakens. That's the Those movie adaptation. Near and Far Wars. What do we got up here? Oh, new printing of the New Frontier. Essential reading. Probably yeah. the top ten. One of the top ten comic books of all time. You should have that. Uh, Deadpool Dracula Gauntlet, which we've had before. Harley Quinn Hardcover, Volume 4. 
Did that rhyme? Did I just rhyme that? This place is going to be a barn in the morning. James Bond hardcover. Uh, we got more of the Joker hardcover in. Also essential reading. I wouldn't say it's as essential as New Frontier, but it's yeah. pretty good. And there, there's one other, just so we can get it out. There's a sure, NYX sure. complete collection for all those people who want to... Sexualize Wolverine. Well, they want to know I mean, about X-23 without paying the new exorbitant prices for cheap, her first appearance. You cheap bastards. Um, Eric's pick of the week, the golden child, loves Aquaman. He got himself a couple good sketches at Heroes Con. He's now addicted to sketches like me. Yeah. He got an Aquaman from Ramona Frayden. And that's how you start a book off. That's how you start a book off. She's legendary. She co-created Aquaman and Metamorpho, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. Um, and he also got a uh, Daredevil sketch from, uh, what's the guy, Paul Azacita? As a, as yeah. As a, uh, however you say it, the guy that draws Outcast. So, yeah. hey, yeah. Archie? Because it's Archie. Yes. Our, uh, I don't Give know. Give glare. There it is. Sure, it's not off there my is. forehead. More 90s stuff. Probably because we just got more lights going out. Astria. What that means, empty spot. Department H, Matt Kent. Matt Kent was at Heroes Con, yes. They sold them to uh, Artist Editions. My man. Empty spot, more rebirth. Doctor Strange is another book I picked up this week. Best one I think Marvel's got going on. It is. It, that and Astonishing Ant-Man, I think, are two of the best comic books they have. Super, I, I really like superhero comics. Doctor Strange because it has absolutely nothing to do with any of the other crap going on in the Marvel Universe. Same with Ant-Man. Um, empty Spot, more Rebirth, I'm sure. Godzilla Oblivion. Oblivion. Godzilla. Uh, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Which I heard just got the axe. Axe. I believe the term is ask. Uh, Civil War Two, Ms. Marvel. Crossing over, man. Uh, I can't the do it. I can't do it. Nighthawk number two by David Walker. This is supposed to be a really good book. Great cover. Yeah. But you know what? Doing all these separate books, Nighthawk, Hyperion. Yeah. Pretty much makes me think that Squadron Supreme is along for the world. Sure, sure. I'm sure that's getting the over the garden wall. Um, more '90s tacular stuff. What is going on <laughs> this week? Okay. Um, Suicide Squad Most Wanted, Deadshot, and Katana. I think that's the last issue of that. that. Superhuman Resources. With great power comes great stupidity. I like it already. Teen Titans. There's a giant gorilla with a beret and a bandolier on. Nice. Che Gorilla. <laughs> oh. A villain for the millennials. Yeah. Thief of Thieves. They should put his picture on a t-shirt. Monsoor monkey. <laughs> Monsoor monkey. Scarlet Witch, uh, dollar reprint, or not dollar, it's a, it's a three, it's dollar, three reprint. dollar reprint. It's three dollar reprint. Three issues. First three issues, yeah. Scarlet Witch, Timely Comics. Remember we told you about the Timely Comics thing. Look at this adorable murderer. 566. I don't know what that means, but it's the Joker edition. Lady Deadpool statue. Like that. That's happening. We got some uh, pops here. Puss in Boots. Careful how you say that. Widowmaker. Why not Zoidberg? And Ms. Pac Man. Uh, Back to the Future. Means Mike Harlan will be in at some point. Today. He already came in. Oh, okay. Bitch Planet. Black Road. Is that it? No. Okay. I thought it was a Dan Panosian cover. I'm sorry. Blacklist. For those of you who like the TV show. From Titan Comics. Oh my god, Titan Comics is doing comic books based on the, the martial arts movie The Raid. What a world we live in, ladies and gentlemen. It's Kung Fu Tacular it is. all day today. You know why? Because bang, here's another book that I buy. And it's not the greatest book in the world, but it's Bruce Lee, well, which all. means it's based on the greatest person in the world. Yeah. So that's close enough for me. Grumpy Cat and Pokey. That's me and Nick when we go out looking for chicks. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> you, you keep poking them. Hey, what's happening, baby? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. <laughs> but that, somehow that'll end up as one of the uh, thumbnails. <laughs> That'd be a good one. <laughs> Gwenpool. Uh. That'll sure drive traffic to the video, won't it? <sighs> Harley Quinn. She's got some nice cleavage, I just noticed. Heartthrob. Oh, another fantastic comic book that I bought this week. Oh, Man and Iron Fist. Great read, too. And we're going to uh, tie this up with something later because. I mean, that, 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 that was just a great read. I can't wait. I love Power Man and Iron Fist. 
I love all kung fu type. Pretty deadly. I didn't know that was still coming out. Project Nemesis, which is what we call it when we plan a surprise birthday party for Nick. The Adventures of Puss in Boots, which is what we call it when we plan a surprise birthday party for me. Give me that marble rye. <laughs> you old bag. You old bag. Squadron Supreme Timely Comics, first three issues, three dollars. Bang. For a book that's probably on its way out. Totally awesome Hulk Timely Comics. That was good. So, there's that. Uh, Bebop and Rocksteady destroy everything. That's pretty good. Empty Spot. Civil War Two. All right, I had a bone to pick with that one because right. I, I wanted to see because they haven't ever talked about where Bruce Banner went. Right. This so one kind of gives you some insight as to what happened. But. But. I sent a but. It's it's Amadeus Cho, basically tells him I cured you, and he's like, oh well, I've been trying for years. What'd you do? Oh, I can't tell you. Come on. What a jerk. Come on. What a jerk Amadeus Cho is. Um, look at this, a Colts exclusive Marvel Pop. What? What is happening here? And then we've also got another sort of exclusive. Angry Groot. Angry Groot. Uh, uh, Lion Face. Uh, Lemon, Lemon Face. face. Um, Deadshot, Icon, DC Icons, just in time for the movie. Lady Deadpool, just in time to miss the movie. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Is it still going on? It's still a thing. Sam Wilson, Captain America, Civil War II tie-in. Carnage, Carnage. Look at that, that's a good cover. Civil War II, Choosing Sides. Oh, because you have to choose sides. Yeah. Cry Havoc. And Let Loose, yeah, the Puppies the of War. Yeah. Uh, Joe's pick of the week, Lost in Space. I like Lost in Space because it comes on right after Spangoolie. Mm. Yeah. Um, and here's the photo cover. Yeah, that's the cover it's, for it, the it, warning it, label on Yeah. If you the, see this the Nambla name. exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Don't be no. gross. James Bond. Uh, meet the new Man of Steel. Is that the Chinese Man of Steel? No, it's it... Lex Luthor. Oh. It's finally the last issue of this Justice League, then the rebirth will start. Boy, oh boy. Killbox. I know her. Uh, <clears throat> Bill's Pick of the Week, La Muerta. We're pretty excited about this because the... Um, the solicits say that it's uh, kind of like Robert Rodriguez's grindhouse um, exploitation films, like uh, El Mariachi and Desperado and that kind of stuff. So, in other words, so it's like a, a like a female Punisher who kills a bunch of people in probably some sort of drug cartel. There you go. So I bought this too because my love for grindhouse knows no bounds. So another great purchase for GR today. And I just referred to myself not only in the third person but by my initials. Yeah. I got problems. Red Sonia. Empty spot. Robin, son of Batman. You know what they say about young boys with big feet? This guy likes them. Oh, oh no, that one's going to get discounted. Yep. That's all right. I don't think we'll sell it anymore. Iron Maiden comic. Speaking of metal. I don't know how Eric let that one go. How did Eric let it go? He's a fool. He's, he's saving child. up for the Mega Death. Golden show. Rocket Raccoon and Groot. I think that might be the last issue there. I'm not sure. Fist the bump. I always assume that everything is the last issue as of well. everything. Like, especially with Marvel. Yeah. The Ultimate Civil War 2. Why they gotta put like all the Black Avengers? Like you guys go over here. Like they're separate but equal. I don't think that's what but it's supposed to be. Technically, I think when the leader of the Ultimates originally Captain Marvel, it's Carol yeah. Danvers. Yeah, right. Uh, the Uncanny Avengers, Ultron Reborn. Ultron's a big stinker head. Big Web body. Warriors, I hear that's coming to an end. Yeah, that, I think I canceled at the same time as Moon Girl. Um, Wonder Woman Rebirth. Big hit. Ladies and gentlemen, Zombie Tramp. Get on the Zombie Tramp train. That's the classiest book we have. That's right. I feel like I should be smoking a pipe. I've got patches on my elbow. I don't even have a jacket on. I still have patches on my elbow. Um, so that's it for new comic books. Um, we got anything else no, that we want to show over here? Okay. Um, remember we were talking about Power Man and Iron Fist, and you guys know that I love kung fu, uh, black exploitation, and grindhouse stuff, um, and I have a sketchbook of that stuff. Well, at Heroes Con, Sanford Green, the artist of Power Man and Iron Fist, was there, 
And so I had Eric, the golden child, go and take my sketchbook to him. And this is the result. Sweet Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. That is a fiddle faddle badass sketch right there from Sanford Green. A fine, fine uh, addition to my sketchbook. I'm very oh. excited. It's the thing I'm second most excited about. Mm -hmm. that came out this week. What else could I possibly have gotten that's better than the Sanford Green Luke Cage sketch? I'll show you. Ah! Enter Bay, Bruce Lee, gigantic figure. Look at this. Ooh. Look at that. That's fantastic. Uh, let's see what's in here. Uh, oh, look at this. Uh, uh, some sort of, I don't know, thing. Look at Bruce Lee. He's got the jack hands. He's got the metal hands. He's got, look at the jack hands. Oh, my God. Okay, so you think that's pretty cool. But let's look this up and see what he comes with. Uh, look at that. All kinds of cool ass accessories, including a heavy bag, which would be sweet if it, you could rip it open and pretend that it was ripped open when he kicked it. And then, as if that's not enough, here's the background that you're supposed to put him in front of. Next right, if you shine a light behind that, you really got yourself a winner. So that's what we got going on for Bruce Lee. Since the phone's ringing, we're going to let you go, but don't forget, uh, Bill will be in Baltimore in a couple weeks. Until next time, my friends, stay nerdy. Bidi, bidi, bidi. No, I can't do it. <laughs>